All right, some news about Optimus Prime. Optimus is gonna get a new battery pack. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, what? Uh, why? Well, <laughs> I mean, most of you guys would be like, yes. No, but okay. Uh, there was there was nothing wrong with the battery pack, but. Tesla, they tried for the longest time to try to replicate the error and they couldn't find the thing. So they had to start somewhere. So uh, the hint was that, you know, at Google, I was getting that message. Uh, battery needs servers, uh, avoid hard acceleration. So, you know, that could indicate that there must be something wrong with the battery pack. And they could, they, Tesla could open it, try to figure out what it is, you know, in Stavanger. But they were given orders to ship that battery pack to Amsterdam and then Amsterdam send them a new battery pack, a 90 pack. So I ask if I can get a 100 pack. Um, they said, no, well, you know, uh, maybe that guy didn't have the power to um, to make a decision, but I can, okay, whatever, uh, just just get Optimus Prime up and running. I don't care if it's a 100 pack or a 90 pack there. And a new, new 90 pack is always a great thing for me because, um, um, well, the, the old one was restricted. So, uh, the restriction in the speed. Let me explain a little bit. Um, if you fast, char fast charge eno enough, uh, mainly on supercharger but also on Chalamo, uh, people say there's a counter. So if it's a counter or they have a, a or it looks like a percentage, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, if you fast charge a lot, DC fast charge a lot, uh, the battery pack will protect itself from too much degradation and lower the maximum speed. So on the fresh pack, like this one, the car I'm sitting in right now, uh, I get around 115 kilowatt maximum. Uh, but eventually, this one will also get the restriction if you fast charge long enough or often enough. Uh, it will go down to uh, about 95 kilowatt. That's what uh, the old pack on Optimus had. So yes, uh, a fresh pack for me is always nice because that means that on average, I could save like two to five minutes on each uh, charging session, a supercharging session. So that helps. Um, and also, of course, a new one doesn't have a degradation. I measure it to about 4% after some massive hauling and stuff. So to me, like as a person, yes, it helps. But, um, and hopefully it also helps for Tesla because they can analyze or whatever, figure out what the heck was wrong with my pack. And they can also look, if you want to look at degradation, what the heck. How did, uh, you know, how did it keep up after 15 months and massive hauling with trailer? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, but what's going to happen with the old pack? I also asked them that because, you know, many skeptics will say, oh, you see, you see, these uh, electric cars, the battery packs only last for a year or two. No, that's not the case because the battery pack was working fine. And <coughs> <coughs> sorry, oh, I'm still, yeah, not fully recovered, but uh, <coughs> Most, I mean, the battery pack is, was working fine. And uh, most likely there is just some small component in the battery pack that has to be replaced. Uh, maybe the power switch or something, but the, the whole pack is fine. It's like, you know, it's like something is wrong with your car. And it's like, it's not like the whole car has to be discarded. No, it's just something you have to change plug or do some shit. I don't know. Um, but Tesla could have fixed that in Stavanger. Maybe they could have fixed that, but they were given orders to ship it to Amsterdam. And yeah, I don't know that they had to follow orders. So they did that. Uh, but most likely, you know, that, that battery pack, the old one, will not be thrown away on the garbage bin or something. Uh, they might like recondition the battery pack, fix whatever is there, and then use it as a backup pack for maybe uh, if something, if someone else needs a, ba a backup, or let's say another car breaks down for whatever reason and they need a replacement for that, like a loaner pack, that could be it. Or they might take out the modules and use it on, I don't know, stationary storage or something. But, you know, the battery pack is not going to end its life after that. Most likely not. Yeah. Uh, and also another thing, uh, some people comment on is that, Maybe it has something to do with the trailer. I'm pulling trailer. Uh, that is possible because uh, I mean, as my first uh, response to them was like, no, you know, just because I haul trailer a lot doesn't mean that it has something to do with it. Just like you know, I always wear this uh, storm bag jacket. So if I get sick, like now, is it because I wear the storm bag jacket? Uh, so if I 
use some other jacket, let's say Adidas, will I not get sick? No, there is no correlation between that. Uh, but uh, the I had some issues with a corrosion in the trailer uh, connection, but you know that shouldn't trigger a massive canvas error. It it should just trigger some kind of error that there is a problem with with um, uh, the the trailer connection. That's it. So, but we don't know. So I asked Tesla, okay, can you guys try to haul the trailer? So they did it. They yesterday they they took a trip with uh, Optimus Prime and hauled some trailer, and then gonna do some more testing. So I t told them. Just go ahead and drive a lot. I have unlimited uh, uh, kilometers on the warrant uh, on the on the um, uh, insurance, so don't worry about that. Just try to find the error. Try to replicate the error. So they got like they are um, trying to figure out what's wrong, and uh, they spend a lot of time, lots of hours trying to fix it because they know that this is important. They have to fix it. Uh, it it might occur again and something. Yeah, and also it's funny because that guy Tesla dude. Um, he uh, he used to own a Volvo, and uh, his Volvo just suddenly, many many times, just suddenly broke down in the middle of the um, highway, motorway, driving at 110 kilometers per hour, boom, down. Seven computers knocked out. I'm like, what? A Volvo? Okay. Uh, so he said, they tried for the longest time to find the error, uh, and then the, in the end, they found out there was some kind of there was some wiring that was misplaced from the production. And similar case to Optimus Prime, and then over time, it um, kind of the insulation got chewed away, and then it short circuit and knocked out six computers, and then the whole car just went in dead. Uh, but that didn't happen right away; it happened after five years. Uh, so the case with Optimus Prime, okay, it was a production fault, just like the Volvo. Uh, but because I drive a lot, it occurred faster. So you know. Okay, in Tesla's defense, I would say, yes, errors like this can happen with any car. It's not unique that it happens with a Tesla. Of course, Tesla has lots of uh, com like lots of issues. I'm not gonna discuss on that. Like, just look at the Falcon Wing door here. Lots of issues. It's not fixed yet on Optimus. So, <coughs> <coughs> okay, I'm gonna finish now. Yeah. <coughs> so um, yeah, uh, and again. Some of you guys like to call me a Tesla fanboy. I find it very offensive because uh, I'm not a Tesla fanboy. I try to be neutral on everything. If I was a Tesla fanboy, you would never hear about any breakdown I have on Tesla. I would just say, the car is working great, yes. And if you want to buy a Tesla, then use my link. Yeah, that, that would be a fanboy. Yeah. All right, so that's it for now then. Uh, talk to you guys later.